Hello there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to another reading. How are you guys doing this lovely Tuesday? We're at it again. <laughs> another Tuesday. All right, I woke up this morning and saw that I had over 5,000 subs. So I just want to say thank you to all of you that have subscribed. All my fire signs, you guys are some of my top views. I appreciate all of you so much. So, 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 so much. Saji. Down below in the description box is all the information you need, including where to book personals with me this week. And also if you would like to join my Patreon, which gives you an all access pass to all my extendeds for a small fee every month. If you like watching my readings and you want extendeds. Okay. Sagittarius. Did I call you Aries? I'm sorry if I did. What do we have going on for Sagittarius today? What is going on for Sagittarius in life and in love? What does Sagittarius need to hear? Oh, my ears are going deaf in the left ear. Something's happening in the left ear. Okay, there we go. It's back. Now, now they're ringing. All right. We have temperance. Here you are, Sagittarius. Out on the board. Um, balance. You guys are seeking balance, harmony. You're being patient. Something may be coming together is what I'm hearing when I look at the temperance card. Something may be coming together for you here. Let's see what else do we have. Yes, six of coins. Ooh, Saji. Something is balancing out right now in the, in the universal energies for you. Something's coming together. Some kind of blessing or... Something is definitely balancing out, or at least you're focusing on balancing yourself and situations that you feel are either worth your time, your energy. Yeah, there's definitely something universal going on here, maybe even spiritual, that has to do with a balance that you've been waiting for or looking for. Okay, we have page of coins in the reverse. I feel like, um, this is funny, um, when I look at these cards, I feel as though you guys have stopped Pudding, and this is what's balancing the situation out in the universal energies, okay? Something is happening here where maybe you guys were putting something um, like you were working hard at, you were putting effort into something with this page of coins, you were offering ways to work things out, but it's almost like the minute you pulled back here, Sagittarius, the minute you stopped investing your hard work and started focusing on yourself here and it's starting to balance the situation out. The energies are changing. Okay. We have on the bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. You guys may have someone coming towards you here. I'm in the shadow card or you're fighting off wanting to actually rush towards someone and express passion. Tell them you want them. You want to go for it. You want it, want it, want it. So let's go ahead and get into clarity here. Let's get into clarity. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Deeper, deeper. Okay, tell us about the temperance card for Sagittarius. Tell us about the, have you ever noticed how there's two cups in the temperance card? It's like the two of cups here. What? Sagittarius. What's going on? Ha <laughs> um, you guys saw that, right? <laughs> you guys freaking saw that. Um, <laughs> okay, so Sagittarius, there is definitely a relationship going on here. Something spiritual. The energies are balancing out. <laughs> I can't get over that. Um, wow. So there is a big energy here happening and it has to do with the soul connection. Okay. Maybe even a soulmate or someone that you are definitely connected with. Things are happening, Saji. Things are happening. And I feel like 
you and this person, you have a deep connection, okay? Whoever this person is, we have Leo energy here. We have Earth energy. We have fire. We have Sagittarius. Um, wow, okay. Whew, I <laughs> Uh, it's kind of on point there. So l let's, let's, let's pull some more. Tell me more about temperance. Okay. Four pentacles. So I feel like there is a situation, um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well here. There's a situation with somebody where the energies are not only trying to balance out and it is a connection. It's definitely a spiritual connection here, but the, someone's they're blocked. Okay. They may be energetically blocked here or they're, they're not allowing themselves to feel or to invest in the situation there. I feel like someone is hoarding away like, um, their money or they're trying to get stable here in this situation. But like what's happening is a I'm also hearing a very protective energy. Like someone is trying to pro actually protect this connection. And that's weird. I don't normally get that with the four of pentacles, but um, your person may be really trying to protect this connection, but they're also blocked, okay? They may be blocking themselves energetically from connecting with you or something along those lines. But th I feel the other person is highly aware of what this connection is when I look at these cards. Okay, so let's let's take a look at the Six of Coins. What's happening for you, Sagittarius, here? Let's see what's balancing out. I want to know more about this. Okay, things are changing here with the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Maybe this person has been sneaky. Um, maybe you have been sneaky, okay, in the past. Somebody here is trying to change that energy, and I feel it's you or your person here. I am picking up on two energies. I got to be honest, and they're alchemizing. Okay, we have an, we have an alchemical match here. Like the alchemical marriage here. Um, I, I feel that um, someone is trying to change the way they handle this connection. And that could be you pulling back here with this temperance energy and just remaining. I'm hearing some of you guys are really remaining faithful in this connection. Like, God, I can't believe that still with the two of cups here. Something is happening. Uh, your guys' energies are balancing out. What a shift. What else do we have? What else do we have here? We have the fool in reverse. So someone could have been afraid to take a leap here towards you. A leap of faith. I feel like it's your person, Sagittarius. They may have also been, hmm, Saggy, this won't resonate for all of you, but, uh, oh my gosh, I just saw the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck and I just like was drawn to it. So emotional fulfillment here. There's some, there's something here underneath the surface that's happening here with the shadow card, like this is this could be a wish fulfillment that's coming true or a, a dream that you have with this person, something you want. See how the sun is coming through on this? Look at that. Anyway, um, yeah, this is a happy rainbow. Anyway, with the fool in reverse here, I feel like somebody is uh, like resisting resisting taking a leap of faith and this could be you Sagittarius like I said this isn't going to resonate with all of you you guys maybe have been impulsive with this person in the past but you're trying to change that energy like you are you are actually changing that energy by not being impulsive by not jumping forward by not putting any effort you are instead of strategizing in the way where like maybe you would jump forward you're stepping back here maybe with the seven of swords and this is because we have the page of coins in reverse right like you guys may also be waiting on some kind of information here but i, I feel like what's happening is the energies are are changing like dr dramatically they're dramatically changing and it's making the the situation better okay so let's take a look here at the page of coins and it has a lot to do with not being impulsive or not taking a leap of faith, which is quite interesting. Also, I feel like your person may be having a hard time taking a leap of faith. So let's take a look at the page of coins in reverse. Page of swords. Oh my goodness. 
So I feel Sagittarius, and some of you guys may even know this, that in order to work this sp spiritual connection, that to get this person to talk to you, okay, you have to do this. Like you have to stop putting so much effort in order for them to come forward and talk to you. And it's very immature. I got to admit this person's communication, it may seem at times like unless I pull away, they won't talk. Like, that's kind of what I'm feeling. They won't talk uh, unless I, you know, stop sending them texts or they won't talk unless I stop talking to them when they're around me. Like, this is someone who maybe is a victim to their own mirroring or projections. Do you see what I mean? Like, they have a problem with this. It's almost like it's almost like you have to do the opposite to get this person to communicate. Like you have to you have to literally pull your balance out of there to get them to come back around here and communicate with you. So there's a very magnetic quality to this connection right now that I'm feeling. Let's uh pull one more card here. One more card here for the page of No, that's too many. The page of coins, one more. Yeah, King of Swords in reverse. So you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You could be dealing with an air sign. I'll, I'll tell you the signs in a minute here. But I, I do feel as though this person has horrible communication. Okay? They don't, they don't communicate with you very well. And I feel like you get very little communication when they do talk to you. Okay? It's like... It's like, if this was someone you were interacting with on a daily basis, like at home, it would be like, or at work or something, you'd be like, hey, how are you? And that's it. It would be like small talk because you stopped talking to them. And that's how they, it's like, do you have to be fucking psychic? Like, I swear that's what, the, that's what this is basically saying. Like, you got to be freaking psychic to get this person. But I feel what's happening is this person uh, closes off here with the King of Swords, the communication the more you put in. The more you put in, the more they close off. So I feel like you guys have to mirror or you have to step back and let the energies balance themselves out because with the Four of Pentacles here, like, the connection won't work otherwise, okay? That's kind of like a cat and mouse. I don't really like that. It's like a chasing and, and running energy, but that's just the energies we're looking at. So here is the challenge, judgment, okay? So this is definitely a spiritual connection with the Two of Cups, Judgment, and the Temperance card. This is definitely something, even maybe with the Fool here, this is something big, okay? This, this connection is not going anywhere, and I feel like there's something spiritual happening with your person. There could be even some kind of renewal in their life right now that is struggle, they're struggling with. Let's see what we have underneath that. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. Two of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So I definitely feel like whatever this person's going through in their life, they have been at a crossroads. Okay, there's been a massive indecision and they may not trust their own intuition about things. Uh, when it comes to the Seven of Wands, I feel like this person kind of puts themselves in a defensive position for no reason. It's like they, they put up their walls because they... They may even feel a bit of a victim at times. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you guys, again, pulling your energy back. Pulling it back. Look at this. Temperance again. For you guys, this is the only way. Like, you feel right now the only way to get what you need out of this connection is to do nothing. Okay? And I feel like that kind of... That's the problem here with Judgment Card. I feel like this person is either not awake fully to this connection and what is happening, or they don't understand the magnetic quality of what's happening here, or they're just now coming to a realization, wait, hold on, this connection isn't going anywhere. What do I do? I try to block it out. I try to not feel it. I try to not, you know, whatever here with the King of Swords in reverse. I try. You may get iced out a little bit, you know, by this person, and it. Um, I'm getting a lot of that lately. Yeah, it's not nice. So let's go ahead and take a look here, Sagittarius, at what they would say to you. I just keep thinking, you know that show, um, Blue's Clues? <laughs> 
Let's see what they say to you. Let's see what they say to you. I don't know. Don't ask. <laughs> I don't really like kids shows, but whatever. <laughs> okay. So let's see what they would say to you in this segment. What would they say? What would they say to you? What would they say to Sagittarius right now? I'm sure you want to know, considering you're only getting kind of page of swords communication with this person. But it's only once you pull away that you get something. So what do we have? Control issues. Ooh. Okay, so this person may feel like they want to get the situation under control or they do have control issues here with the four of pentacles. I don't know if you guys heard earlier, but remember I said I feel like a real protective energy. Like this person tries to you know, hold off on giving the all perhaps in this situation. And, but yet they try to protect the connection at all costs for some reason. Like they're, it's like they're hoarding the connection. That's, that's how I want to put it. It's like they're hoarding it to themselves. It's very strange. Um, like they're, they're super protective over it, but at the same time, they're not giving you their energy. They're not giving you their vibes. They're control. You know what I think's happening here, Saji? You, you want to know what I think's happening? Like this person is constantly thinking about this connection. I think they are, and they're not telling you about that. Um, with the judgment card, they know that it's something that they want. It's it's something spiritual. They want to change how things work, but they're afraid with the fool here. So I think what's I think what's happening is that this person is so bound to the concept of this connection and protecting it that they have forgotten to give you the attention that you need. Like, I, I seriously feel like that. Like, they have, they have pulled back their um, affections or their communication in lieu of trying to actually protect the connection, which is very strange. It's, it's very... I, I don't think they control you, but it's like... The problem is controlling them. The problem of what they feel for this connection is controlling them instead of them letting it flow. Okay. So what else do we have? What else do we have here? What else do we have? What else would they say? Okay. I am stalking your social media. <laughs> so if this is for some of you guys that is uh, at a distance with this person and you you have this spiritual connection with them um they're not taking any leaps here yeah yeah they're, they're they're talking to you but i think what's happening behind closed doors is really they want to say more but they're not letting themselves and they're being cold okay but they are watching they are you, you know how i keep getting that vibe like like they are protecting the connection. I feel like they are stalking you, watching from the scenes. Like they want to change this. Somebody wants to get out of that energy. They do, but they're afraid. Okay. They literally are afraid of that. So let's see what else we have. What else would they say? What else would they say right now? My spiritual journey is very important to me. So that's the judgment card here. This person may be going through it, okay? Through some kind of spiritual enlightenment, or maybe you being in their life, Saggy, is causing some kind of spiritual enlightenment, or maybe your journey, they know that it is important to you. Maybe you're very spiritual here with the temperance card and the judgment card. Maybe you are someone to a cups that understands how connections, sorry about that, how connections like this actually work. So let's see what else we have. We want to pull um, the Romance Angel cards. We're going to shuffle them real quick. Hey, what do our romance angels have to say? Attraction. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of attraction here. Uh, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Do you, do you see what I mean? It's like she's off doing her own thing. And that's the only way you get this person's attention. You could definitely be, you definitely could be dealing with an air sign here because a lot of air signs, they'll do that. 
especially Aquarius, they're kind of weird like that. I've often heard they kind of love in reverse. It's like the more you focus on you, the more they want you. It's kind of strange, okay? It's, there's, there's an attraction. The more you focus on you, the more they come back. Uh, what else do we have? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So some of you guys may feel like the way this person is with the control issues here, it's 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 kind of making the connection choke because you have to do this instead of letting things just be free flowing. Also, cross watcher, if you're watching this and this resonates and it's you and you're stalking your saggy and the only way you can talk to them is if they leave you alone. Um, I want to say that's not healthy. That's a, that's a chasing and running kind of dynamic. It's not healthy for either of you. And I'm not getting on your ass. I'm just saying it's not healthy. So what's happening here is your person has to constantly go between being free and being chained, being free and being chained, free, chain, free, chain. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, don't you want a flow? Like, I feel like a flow would be much more viable for this connection, but you may need to let go here with the four of pentacles and allow yourself to just let the connection be what it is, right? So someone may feel often here, Saji, possibly you, like you want to get out of this mess. Like, um, why is this happening? Okay. Also judgment card with free yourself. Like if someone here is going through a spiritual kind of uh, rebirth or awakening or anything along these lines about this connection, I feel like uh, it's got to be allowed to be a free flowing, free form connection um, so that you can work it out together. Okay. And we have, this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So here we are with our two of cups. You guys are a match. Okay, this is, you feel like perhaps this person is your match. Both of you feel this, I, I think, about each other. So let's get you guys a Moonology card, and then you can join me down below for the extended. We're going to see how your person feels about you. We're going to go a little deeper into the connection and hopefully take a look at this judgment card. I want to see why they're not talking as well. Um, we'll go from there. All right, what advice do we have? Surrender to the divine. Yeah, I think you're doing that. I think you're already doing that, Sagittarius. Like you're you're just, you're not, like whatever. You're just like, wh whatever. I wanna get one more since that, that one we already know, I think you guys are doing. You're just like, let it go, let it go. I'm gonna go embrace. Maybe you're embracing your spiritual journey too. A time for healing, all right? So as you pull back, I feel like you're being encouraged to heal something. Gemini energy, bottom of the deck. The answers you need are coming. So yeah, they'll be back. Okay, Page of Swords, they're going to be back. All right, guys, come join me down below for the extended. We're going to take a look at how your person feels. Can't wait to see you there. Bye, Sag.